see if we can find some mini art today. Basically gave these to me for $2 a piece. I want to vlog too. Yeah. Mom's going to be so jealous of these frames. Look at all that detailing. You're my only real guest besides my mom so far. Oh my god, we thought we lost all, all of Drew's audio. audio. Like they really curved to your curvature. <laughs> until 3 a.m. editing my video, finishing up my video to go live so that we could wake up early. It's about seven right now, I think. Sundays are flea market days. Do you know, now that we have explored other markets, we pretty much have a flea market to go to every weekend. Um, so whether it's Rose Bowl or Long Beach or Pasadena, on Sunday, it's a great thing to do. Like I, I just have so much fun and I'm still looking for little bitty art. I was up until three getting my video live and I have been having this video idea on my list uh, for a while to do. I just really wanted to work on what the kitchen could become. Kinsley? Oh, sorry, honey. I'm sorry, she couldn't get to me. Come on, honey. I really wanted to work on what the kitchen could become, what the possibilities were, because it was like really tricky. Uh, here, here, not our kitchen in <laughs> Texas is done. I really wanted to work on the layout, what it could become, see what was load bearing, was possible. I couldn't wrap my head around it until I started drawing it. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me in the planning on how I do it and how I start it. Cause that's like one of the number one questions that I get. It's like, where do you even start? Like, how do you even start thinking about like what a space could become and I really 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 start drawing it out thinking about the functionality of a space how things could flow if I'm changing things up what am I losing what do I need the space to become what do I need from it like in the kitchen we need more storage we need more counter space the refrigerator to be able to open all the way <laughs> I got up in the attic I looked to see if things were load bearing um, with my limited knowledge of it you can kind of tell I just like did all of those things and I took you guys along with me and we developed a first initial design. Now, this is going to go through 50 iterations. I'm really working through the possibilities to really figure out what we would like, what would work for us as I find inspiration or I find different things that uh, could work in the space. I'll, I'll mess with it and, and redesign it. And then eventually we'll get to a point where I can actually have a contractor look at it and get a ballpark quote. Cause I have no idea what it would cost for a contractor to come in and do this work for us. I definitely want to do some of the work, but I don't want to do any of the demo, the structural things. You know, we, we have to hire someone to change the plumbing and, and move that electrical panel. I really want to work with someone just to get a, a quote so that we can start saving for it over the next few years or so before we're going to do it. But that's why you kind of need to start something like that early so you even know what you want and then you can figure out how much it's going to cost so you can save for it. Like, I don't know how else you do that. You know, like it's got, it takes a, it takes time. Going through the process of the cottage has definitely better prepared me <laughs> for any type of renovation going forward in my life. I mean, how could it not? It was a huge learning experience. And so now I can see things like, you know, is this going to be accessed from another house so that we can more easily or more budget friendly move the plumbing? move the electrical is it going you know to be load bearing that's going to add to the cost all those things i can look at now whereas before i kind of knew what those things meant but i wasn't well versed in that we're getting ready right now we're gonna head to the flea market today i'm actually meeting drew there as well we're gonna go shopping together and then later i'm gonna head to his house and we're gonna film the podcast uh, yes, he is going to be on the next episode of the podcast that will be out. I'll put the date on on the screen. I think he's excited. I mean, we're gonna t you know talk about renovating our first homes and you know really what he was looking for when when buying a house and just 
you know, chat about our experiences thus far, is it what we expected? All the things. It's gonna be like really, really fun. I don't want the podcast to ever be like interview style. Like that's not me. I just wanna like chat. Like, let's just chat about like what we love to do, and that just happens to be home decor and design and renovating. Uh, so it's super, super fun. So let's go see if we can find some mini art today, shall we? <sighs> really want some. The first time I can actually see my entire outfit. <laughs> In a mirror. I love this mirror. I've actually had this coat for like 10 years. I think it was from Zara 10 years ago. It's like my perfect transition into spring coat because it's only going to get up into like, I think the high today is like 60 something. So it's going to be like maybe breezy. Um, so I'm just going to wear this coat over my little Florence tee that I got in Florence and some linen pants and some shoes. What do you think about that, huh? What do you think about that? Okay, it has been a successful first round. Wait, I've, already making I've a trip. only done, huh? We're I know we're already making, making a, trip. a trip. I've only done this front outside part, um, and then I go in the garage, and then I didn't even get to go over to the other side last time. Don't wear sunglasses at a flea market. When it's really sunny, wear a hat, because you can't see anything. You should wear them. I know. You want to wear this? No. We'll wear that. So we are taking a load to the car. I got some really good frames, small art, but nothing cool quite 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 what I was looking for but I feel like I'm a little bit desperate for small art so I'm I'm not being too picky it's a good flea day you know good flea day hey guys look who I found hey it's me <laughs> <laughs> I've already done this side so Drew has to go and um I want to vlog too yeah I told him I already did this yeah, side. Yeah, McKenna already did it. Look at it. Have you already showed them that? No, I didn't show them that Can yet. Can I show look it yeah. for you? Yes. Hey, look at what McKenna got. Look how beautiful. Can I see? Oh, it's always so hard with the sun. <gasps> oh, that's, that's a good beautiful. one. Velvet. Green velvet. Green velvet. Because I'm looking for tiny moss, moss velvet. velvet. I'm looking for teeny tiny art, like even smaller than that. that I, yeah, that has the biggest, Tea. chunkiest frames ever. Yes. And the art is like only an inch by an inch. That's exactly. Like 10 by 10. He knows. Yeah. He gets, he gets yeah. it. He gets it, it. It makes the art look more expensive, even it though it's does. only like this big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We found a lady that had a lot of books that she was like, I don't want to haul them anymore. You know how heavy books get? I can't even imagine bending with books. We found her and she was like, basically gave these to me for $2 a piece. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at these, like a lot of architecture and interior design books, home decorating, some France ones that were mixed in here. These are just novels, but the colors were so pretty. I already have this book, but I got it again. <sighs> you guys, it is warmed up. Jacket is off. We found so much stuff. Look at this beauty. I love her. I don't think she's gonna go anywhere in our house. So if anyone loves her, she will most likely be at our not so imaginary pop-up shop that should be happening soon. He even was like, are you ever gonna have this pop-up shop that you keep talking about? I'm like, yes, it's the year. But you of course will know details when I know details. We have to have it, yeah, have I know. We have full of goodies. I, I, Trust me, I know, and every month that storage costs me, so we need <laughs> we need to have a pop-up shop so I get rid of the storage unit. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Drew was there, Drew and Justin. Um, he found some goodies. We are going to pack the car. Court's like giving my arms a workout. We're gonna head back home, probably eat something more substantial, yeah? Around like four-ish, I'll head over to Drew's house and we'll film for the podcast. It's a cute market, huh? I love this market, actually First Sunday a lot. of every yeah. month. Yeah. PCC, Flea Market, Pasadena City College. 
It's really, really good. There's also another one that we want to try. It's Santa Monica. Mom's going to be so jealous of these frames. I really have to stop looking for art. I feel like I've got a good collection now. With these, I feel good. Yeah. You guys, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. So I thought we could do the haul out here because it's like the best weather, the best weather, the best weather. The sun is out. It's been raining so much. It's like breezy. It's just, it's wonderful. And I got some wonderful things from the flea. Look at her. I mean, she is quite stunning. Uh, she has beautiful colors. She's a great kind of size. She's larger scale, but she's she's just really awesome. She is definitely old. He said from the 1800s. You can tell also by the way that she was framed. You see how the canvas was attached? So if you know anything about old art, um, how they were done, but I mean, I can tell that it's old. If you have any ideas of what time period they used nails to, um, attach the canvas to the actual board there is also a name here that i'm gonna decipher and we're gonna look up because i would love to know more about this because it's just beautiful how stunning her colors are Ugh. so right when i got to the flea market the very first booth that i saw had a lot of things that i really really liked so i asked her i was like if i put some things aside would you make me a deal and she said yeah i think she came down like 15 dollars, which isn't bad so i got you could consider I got something for free. Um, but here are some things I got from her. I got this one, very old. Look how pretty that is. Like, so pretty. Um, I think some things were on the $10 blanket. And so they ranged, so I'm not sure on each individual piece. It's not an art print, it's actually um, an embroidery that's been framed. And I thought the frame was really pretty. I got this little girl. She's very cute. The frame, it says handcrafted in Italy, trademark of Italy, um, but it's not wood. But I liked its size and she was on the $10 um, little blanket. So she came down kind of like overall on everything. So you, maybe we paid $8 for her or something like that. She had this little cutie, which I really liked. It had like pretty, it's like a pretty little scene. This also is metal. This is made in the USA. It's nothing like super special. That's why it wasn't um, priced very high. Um, and it's just like a little print, but I thought it was precious, you know, in the right. I've been looking for something like small like this for like the little um, entry to the bathroom, the guest bath upstairs. So I really like that. So I got that from her. These silhouette art, they have these little hooks at the top and you can tell they're, they're a little bit older. Uh, I thought they were they were pretty. They were sweet. These would go in the pop-up shop. If you're ever looking for something for a little skinny wall, a little character. I got this from her and I have a piece that kind of like chipped off. Um, it's a jewelry box and it has this scene on the top of it and it's just stunning. I just, I loved it. I love this. I love this for me, like for my little table and it's just a scene out in the wilderness thought it was so cute. I have the piece that I can glue back on. And I got this picnic basket from her because I thought it was so cute. It says Megan on it. So I've got to try and paint over that or, or put maybe like a piece of brass or something. Like an engraved, that'd be beautiful, like an engraved piece. But I thought it was so precious for Kinsley and I to come out here in the front yard and have a picnic at our own house. But you know, like I just, it was nice. From her, I got this one. And she also had a larger piece that was pretty, but it was a print. I thought this one was really pretty too. It had a good frame, linen frame. I thought she was real sweet. She's just like a little girl. I thought that was super sweet. I think she wanted originally 50 for this one. Um, so whatever we got off of that um, is what I spent on those. So that was all from the same lady, not, not her. She was separate. That's the only thing I got from them that was I think one of the last things that I purchased this frame, it's got a cream velvet liner, beautiful. The frame is beautiful, all wood, super heavy. When I see frames, I just tap on them to see if they're metal, wood, resin, if they're poured. Um, this one's wood and you can tell 
on the back as well, but it was really, really pretty. So mom, I need you to paint me something in there. He wanted 25, I got it for 20. This one is stunning, the frame. I like the art as well, but it's very green, but the frame was literally like to die for. Look at all that detailing. Is that not stunning? It's vintage, it's beautiful, and it's in great shape. And when you find vintage ones in great shape that aren't like uh, missing pieces to the filigree and things, definitely buy it because this is gorgeous and it has green velvet. <gasps> Love. I also got two from the same lady. She wanted 45 for each of them and she gave me a deal off of that. So instead of 90, I think I got them for 75. Um, so this, mama of a frame she's heavy she's wooden she's gorgeous but inside the frame itself you know the art would be like eight by ten and i like it like that i like when the frame is just like beefy do you know what i mean like the art is small but the frame is like really really thick i, I love that so i got this one from her and i got this girl from her she was very pretty her frame is gorge so together, I spent 75 on them. It's got a sticker residue on it that I need to fix. This little art, I didn't love the frame, but I loved the art inside. And I felt like I could take it out maybe um, and then put it in something else if I don't like it as is. But I thought it was really pretty. Um, it wasn't very much, like five or ten dollars. Maybe ten. This one was ten for sure. I also got 21 books for $45. And they're beautiful, jewel-toned interior design, art, and French town books. A few of them are novels, but she was like, please take these. I do not want to vend with books anymore. They're too, because they're so heavy. I can't even imagine. So she gave me such a good deal. She was like, come back next month. I'll have more. So I won't be here next month. So if you guys are in the area, go, go go to her and get some books. And the last thing that I got was this chess set. It's beautiful. It's like a stone of some kind. She thinks that it might have been um, soapstone. It kind of does look like it, like the soapstone countertops that we have in Texas. Look how stunning these pieces were. This is one side, the dark side. And then look at these, cream and black. I've been attracted to chess pieces lately, like chess sets. And I've been seeing some and I was like, I really want to find one that looks like me, you know, and that I would want to put out. Like the pieces are gorgeous. I was like, yes, please. And it's stone. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. There was only one thing wrong with it and she called it out to me. One of the bishops, the tip of the top of the bishop is broken off this one like but it's just for me i don't mind it's just the little tip of it she had it marked 85 but she gave it to me for 60. it's an expensive little game but it's gorgeous and it's like a decor piece you know like i can put it on the, the like the coffee table or i don't know like on a little side table it's it's just it's really our bookshelf it's really beautiful this was such a good haul i love this stuff so much so you can expect to see these things in upcoming makeovers, at the pop-up shop, you know, just around. Hey guys, it's actually the next day. I'm on my way to Drew's house uh, to film the podcast and uh, look at what he's done so far um, on the living room because he's been working in the living room a lot and his kitchen's finally finished. The kitchen was almost finished when I was there the last time. Uh, so it's gonna be fun to do the podcast and we'll set up like a little area to film. And we were gonna film it yesterday and I stayed up so late and he was doing running around doing other things and things. So we were just like, let's just do it. like tomorrow in the afternoon so I, I worked on some uh, other projects this morning and gearing up for another video uh, that I'm a fun video outdoor video that I'm gonna be working on uh, this week so we are on our way I am back in my old stomping grounds Drew and I used to live right next door to each other literally I could throw a rock probably to his house uh, and then he moved not too far away um, so it's super close it's like really really like right down the street so I'm heading back there taking my usual <laughs> streets and things it's it's crazy you guys know the last couple of years at the apartment i wasn't very happy like i don't miss it do you know what i mean like i don't 
I mean, how could you miss it when you have a beautiful home too? Um, but I'm just, I'm so happy with where we are. It feels so right and our house feels like a home and we have, I don't know, everything like it's just going really well. <laughs> so I don't really miss coming down here at all, but I am excited to see Drew. So we're going to do that. I want to see um, the paint color that he used. He used that old white color from Pharaoh and Ball. I want to see if it's worth the, uh, the price on the gallon. I've never used their paint because I always knew it was as a higher price. So I want to see it in person it's, um, and see what, what he thinks about it. Which side do you like to sit on? This side. Okay. Which side's your good side? This side. Okay, this you side. can have that are side. You, no, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't I, matter. I don't care. Oh, literally. Are you sure? 100%. Because, I mean, if I cut, I'll sit on that side. I, this is my good side. Uh, this no. is my bad side. Look, look how bad I look this, and then look at my hair here. Do you know what I mean? She's better. I think you look good either way, well, but yes. Okay. You're my only real guest besides my mom so far. <gasps> I know. You're the first. I've uh, never done a podcast before, ever. <gasps> Ever? No, never. I've never done ever. He's never done a podcast before. No, I've ever. been offered many. I've done yeah. all of them. <laughs> I've done like one, and that was even before. Then we weren't even talking about home decor. It was yeah. like about my prior business. Testing, testing. Yeah, testing. yours is good. I can see mine's good too. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> I don't know what to do. I've never done this. Oh. I'm scared, McKenna. Are you scared? Yeah. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to With My Own Two Hands podcast. I have a very special guest. This is my first guest since my mom. Well, my mom is my only guest. Drew is here from Lone Fox Home. Hi guys, it's me. I learned so much already about a podcast. I see. I didn't know all this went into it. I've never ever done a podcast ever. I've been asked actually to do a couple, but... I don't know. I, I I honestly feel like if I was to do a podcast, I'd want to do it with someone that I like want to talk to. You know, yeah. not that I didn't want to talk to other people, but just kind of scary. Yeah, I never know what they're gonna, like. People are gonna ask. I think that's why I do it with my mom because yeah. I'm like so comfortable. And then with you, like we're we've been friends for years, yeah. so it's like it's comfortable to like I just oh, chit chat, just, like, sit yeah. down, like chat. Oh, no. And we both got how we just both bought houses. So that's really what spawned this episode. Yeah. For real, for it real, it really actually it. Oh my god, we thought we lost all, all of Drew's audio. audio. Oh my gosh, we, we literally found it. How did we find it? <laughs> I don't know. I just keep clicking until it works. Well, it worked. We found because the audio. we found it, and it, and when I looked, it was thirty. Why we had this whole length. conversation about good audio guys and how we're gonna use? We were pro hey, we were all problem solving. We were, we're really good. Oh my gosh, an hour and thirteen minutes. <laughs> We literally had a business meeting power out of The whole thing. thing. The audio work. I'm like, I know a guy. Marie's like, get on Fiverr. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It's the whole thing. It's fun. <gasps> oh, yay. I'm so happy. This makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. I was laying on the floor a while ago because I thought both of our audios were messed no, up. I had a ticking oh sound. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. <sighs> I have to go home and go to sleep now. Hello, guys. <laughs> it's the next day. I've been stuck in traffic for so long. <laughs> so long. I don't know what is going on. I mean, I don't drive purposely during traffic hour. Like, it's a strategy of life living in California. You, in LA. You, you just don't do anything when there's traffic. I've been driving for over an hour now trying to get to Drew and trying to get to Olive Atelier and I want to go see his drop and he's going to be there. He's there. So I was like, I'm going to come when you're there. I want to see what you did. I'm so proud of him. He's like just doing fun stuff. He said he had so much fun um, decorating for the drop for this weekend. Um, so if you guys are in and around LA. You have to go and check out. He, I, I'm, I'm going to find out exactly what he did, but I'm assuming that he decorated all of the, the whole showroom, um, with all of Atelier, uh, salvaged finds and things. Um, so I'm gonna go meet him there. And so if you're in LA, you have to come this Saturday. Um, it's gonna be this Saturday that this video, this video is going live on Thursday. So this coming Saturday, <laughs> I've made it. 
We've made it to the atelier. Yeah, we've made it to the atelier. <laughs> I didn't know how to get in. <laughs> He's gonna show me all the things. Okay, would you, okay. So Justin's over here. Justin's over there. Hi. Aaron's over and there. Aaron's over there. Um, <laughs> so wait, it, this was empty. Yeah, and completely empty. Totally empty. <laughs> Do you like it? I mean, uh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> little. What would you like to shop for? Wait, what nobody's gonna be able to come in. <laughs> nobody's gonna come in and shop because we're gonna. I'm gonna take it all. Perfect. I'm just kidding. That's not true. I'll That's start it. ringing you up right now. <laughs> Show me around. So I need to know. Two of my favorite sections. These are. This is stunning. This is the stool. Section. I immediately yes. Antique stool section. I love that. Right. And then this is my other favorite section because I just love these little stone bowls. So this is. Like I a, have one of these. Right. I oh, I like that them. you put them all together. Yeah, so it's just like, it's an, I call it like an I spy book. Like you can just like look for the one you want and then just grab it. I love it's doing I spy books. I know, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> this one. I know, they're so, so pretty. I love them. And then we have our paper mache bowl section. Yeah, I have one of those too. Yes. Oh, I love this vase. Look at these bar stools. <gasps> I don't have Do a bar yet, but I will. I Go will ahead. need okay. one when I renovate I finally. I sourced these for you. You did? I did. Thank <laughs> you. Mind. Look at these little glasses oh that God. you put here. These are McKinley glasses. Yeah, but they're display only. <laughs> so sorry. You can't That's, purchase I those. love them. <laughs> um, and then this is our stone mortar section. Here. I love the little um, stone bowls. And you could put sand inside of them and then put an incense stick. And then it's like a really cute incense holder. Oh, yeah. that's really cute. Right? Oh, Our camping zone. I have the camping zone. So we have like some good, nice, casual camping chairs. Oh, I want to sit in the camping yeah. chair with you. Yes, please take a seat. This is a glamping camping section. This is the way I would always want to. Right? Camp. Aren't these chairs actually comfortable? Yeah, they really are. I know. They're like they really curve to your curvature. <laughs> We have lots of curvature. Curvature is over here. No, I love this. Yeah. I need that. That would be such a pretty, I don't know if you could actually put a fire pit in that, but, cause it's a planter, but then oh, it turns it yeah, into a fire pit. Still, yeah. I'm sure you. I feel like you could. We're not experts on fire. So if someone could let us know if you can. My dad's building a, uh, my gate for the front in, in Texas. And he came in and he was like, how do you like it? He was like, it better be worth my life because I caught my shirt on fire welding it for you. <laughs> we're, as a family, we're, not, we're collectively not good at fire things. These. Which ones are those? Are those the cauldrons? Yeah. Ah, those are cauldrons. This. I big pot. You this can get in so it. Good. Like, look how tall this pot is. You could get in it. I'm six foot tall. Luckily, that wasn't the one he broke. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine this one up on the edge and I'm like, oopsie. <laughs> we work our way. We work our way. Uh -huh. Into the bathroom zone. Oh, the so bathroom this zone. Is okay. What I did for the bathroom. We have a bathroom cabinet. Well, I don't know if it's a bathroom cabinet. But I mean, it's I would want it in my bathroom if I, if I ever had a bathroom that huge. I know. I would be cold in a bathroom that big, though. Uh, I think I would too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I um, love it. Some sinks in here and some bowls and some glass. Just it's incredible. Pretty items. This is gorgeous. I know. That's right? gorgeous. It's so pretty. That's where you need to take pictures. Or like, or you are you probably are. rugs behind them and they would be like this. Oh yeah. And then we put the broken pot in there. Oh, she's she's gonna be a like a she's gonna have a moment. She's up there. This is the broken pot. She's abstract. She's abstract. She's kind of cool. Cool, cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's just a um, jagged edge serving bowl. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then oh. this is our dining area, but all chairs sold for the all table. Oh. <laughs> so we have only benches now. I think I saw uh, maybe in something that you posted. Yeah. I saw the, the chairs were pretty. The squiggles. Yeah, yeah they were so they were cute. Really pretty. Someone bought all of them. Oh wow. <laughs> Um, Those doors are awesome. I know, oh the God. doors are so pretty. Can you imagine having an opening that big? And you want to know what I actually love? This, with these Willy Gold planters yeah. used as a bowl. Yeah. Like, I feel like this is so pretty, how it looks like fabric, but it's so rustic. Yeah. I know, it's so pretty. It looks more delicate because of yes, the shape, uh -huh. because it's, it's like fabric. Yeah. It's so like juxtaposition -y. That's really pretty. I need that for my outdoor table. I, it's so cool. I keep staring one? at it. There's bigger ones in the oh, back. Wow. Yeah. The kitchen. This I love how you kitchen. did it like little rooms yeah, in a house. Yeah, little rooms. Uh, so this is our kitchen area. And then I hung this up here. We had to have someone go up there <gasps> and attach it to the grate. <laughs> and then we hung the ladder. And then it has all the little confit jars. These are literally copper pots from my house. Really? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, no. Are you selling it? No. Oh, this, that display place is display only. only. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of you. Can we just need it to personalize. If someone throws a fit, just sell it to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. We'll find more. Yeah. We'll find, find more. more you know, where I find a lot of copper pots is where? at um, Grandma Estate Sales in Texas. They mm. all have copper. I have tons of copper in Texas. I, I actually find a lot of copper pots at just flea markets in general. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's always some. Copper, yeah. But it's hit or miss on prices. Sometimes they can be pricey. Yes. Sometimes people know the price and sometimes people don't, don't. really know. No. <laughs> I love it. You guys have to. So you're gonna be here, what, what on time Saturday? The whole time, right? Yeah. On, well, yeah. how long is the drop for? It's like? from ten to two. Ten to two. Ten to two. So I mean, I'll be here from ten to two. <laughs> That's gonna be so fun. You guys have to come and see. I had to give McKenna a sneaky peek. I know. I, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Get a little sneaky peek. I oh. promised them that I wouldn't take everything. Don't. Stone candle. Hold. Oh, that would look so good. Yeah. Yeah, I like the pieces instead of one thing. Uh huh. And then you can vary the candle heights a little bit. Yeah, right. so like melt them a little. Yeah. You guys, I love this piece so much. Look at this. It's stunning. I think it would be gorgeous in the entryway, and then maybe when we redo the the bathrooms, it can become a vanity of some kind because I'm always looking for like long pieces like this but it's literally stunning and I was looking for a piece there. This is the interior designer workout. <laughs> it's, it's, it's candle uh, holders. It's a primitive. It's, 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 <laughs> oh, you have to turn. <laughs> the full rotation. Honestly, these are a lot heavier than you guys think on camera. They are. They, no, they're really heavy.